What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king. Welcome back to more Let's Play Destiny 2. In the last episode, we finished the mission Scorned, and unfortunately, we're not able to take out a single Scorn Baron in the process. But now that the spider has given us that glorious intro, we're going to talk to him. So, even the great hero of the Red War has limits. Eight barons and an awoken prince. <laughs> and only one of you. I so dislike betting on the underdog. But you are resourceful. And you do have the queenless queen's wrath in your corner. Oh, you've talked me into it. <laughs> Our friendship shall continue. Pursue your vengeance. When the shore is a bit less crowded, we will speak again of favors. Indeed we will. Okay then. Well. Let's talk to Petra now. She has something to say. Cade's killers are still out there. But the hunt is not over. You take down the barons. Thin the herd. As for Aldrin. Did you see that awoken spire when you landed here? It's called the Watchtower. I shouldn't be telling you this, but... My people's greatest secrets lie beyond that spire. There's no other reason Aldrin would come to the Tangled Shore. Sooner or later, he will go to the Watchtower. We must stop him before that happens. Good hunting. We just gotta kill all the other barons first. Alright, so... Watch your back, if we take a look at the map really quickly... Off, we'll find him. As you can see, a bunch of adventures are about to pop up right here. There we go. It took him a second. Okay, so you got targets all over the place that we can go after, and they are each separated by their own recommended power. So we are actually going to be going through each and every single one of them in the order of in the order that the game sort of intends you to based on the power cap. So the lowest one is the Rider, which is at recommended power of 390. The next one is the Trickster, which is at a recommended power of 400. Then we have the Mad Bomber at 410, followed by the Hangman at 420, then the Mindbender at 430, and last but certainly not least is the Rifleman at 440. As you can see, the Fanatic and the Machinist are not present here. We only have six of the eight Barons, but we... Well, six of the seven Barons, I guess. Fanatic himself isn't one, technically. Whatever. So... We will be worrying about them after all is said and done. So we are going to start today's episode by going after the Rider, which is just here in Thieves' Landing. And um, I will say that each and every single one of these missions, they're, they're essentially their own boss fight. They're really, really fun. This is actually what makes this campaign so good, in my opinion, is that these fights are relatively unique. They definitely make for some of the most interesting, what you would call, boss battles in... Uh, in the entire game. So we are going to head on down here. We actually need to go underneath here. There is a garage down here. So if we just walk down here really quickly, you'll see that the flag is down here by all of these. Uh, oh my gosh, what are they even freaking called? I, why am I forgetting the name of them? The, the, the freaking fallen speeder things. Oh my goodness. Pike. There we go. That's what they're called. Okay, I need to kill everything in here real quick. Get out of here. Okay. So let's start this thing. This garage belongs to one of Aldrin's barons, Yavix, the Rider. So we're going to summon a pike here really quickly. And this pike is completely pike sporadic. We won't have to find her. She'll find us. So, at the start, I'm going to just be basically randomly boosting. I don't really have any sort of choice on the boosting. This is all happening automatically. I'm not pressing any buttons. I'm just moving the control stick around right now. So... Got to calibrate the drive first before we can actually use it. Now, as you can see, it leaves a trail of fire behind it, which is different from normal pikes. Indeed, they do. Okay, so now we need to calibrate the weapons, which are going to fire very sporadically, and we need to do that by killing enemies. And I am absolutely going to focus on this guy, because he will get me some stuff should I get some kills. Excuse me, sir, you need to die. Hold on, let me kill your, let me kill your bodies here real quick so we can calibrate these weapons. There we go. So now that that is calibrated, we can actually use this thing and get the heck on out of here. Hold on a second. Well, 
you know the rest. Wait a minute, hold on. She was mad because Cade beat her in a race? Are you kidding me? That's it? Oh my get get over yourself. Like legit, out of all of the barons, that has to be one of the most petty reasons to want to kill Cade. Like I'm and I'm dead serious about that. Like the others actually have like a decent reasoning behind it, but she beat he beat her in a race. That's it. Wow. Okay then. So uh, let's kill this rider for her pettiness. And oh gosh, I almost didn't make that. That could have been bad. Let's get through here. Need to get, I believe we need to get all the way to Sorix's cut. And there are going to be a few guys riding around on pikes of their own, which I'm definitely going to steal one considering mine is on fire right now. And it's not the most ideal for hanging on to. These pikes have a very distinctive exhaust signature. Right now, it's all over my skin. Yeah, you mean fire? Because that's what the, the exhaust is. Fire. Oh, I made that one. I caught that one on fire, too. Secure frequency. We can triangulate her location with a little more data. Here, I'm going to take yours now. No, 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 no. Not this one. I meant to get on the one that was actually closer to me. Jeez. All right, so let's get on this one now. We just need to kill one more minion, and they're all over the place. There's several of them around. There we go. There's one. Come here. Ah, ah, ah. Stop that. Stop that. Get back here. No, get out of there. Thank you. What the world is this? Hello? Let's go. Uh, apparently I got something out of that before it was able to disappear. Okay, well, let's keep going. So we're actually going to want to head over here. And no, you can't actually take your pike in here, so don't even worry about it. Um, it's There's an immediate wall that you can't get over with a pike. I mean, you probably could if you get like really creative with like the geometry or something. But I'm not really feeling creative right now. I'm not feeling like I'm going to try to get over this thing. So let's just hop on in. And this is where we're going to find the writer herself is in this area. Ah, don't touch the boiled pea. Don't do it. And this is a very interesting fight, I will say that. It's probably one of the most creative, Close. actually. Where are you? There she is. So we need to kill her off of her pike by doing as much damage as possible. Hold on. You know what? I'm going to do this. There you go. Problem solved. All right, let's keep moving. We got a nice new bond. And then there is a pike sitting here waiting for us to steal. And so we need to follow her all the way to the other end of the lair before she's really going to give us a chance to actually do any damage to her. So let's kill everything in our path if we can. Ah, uh, not do that because that's a really bad idea. Ow. I should not have been super close to that either. Frick. Okay, well, I can grab another one. They've got, they've got like, two set up at every single waypoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off you go. Off you go. She just kind of rides back and forth a little bit. Don't pay her too much trouble. You can, like, try to snipe. I guess I... Probably did a little bit of damage there. Okay, we got to kill that abomination. Don't you hit me. Don't you hit me. Don't you hit me. No, no, no. Get out of here. Ah, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Thank you. Okay, you're dead. Now we kill all of your friends. Beautiful. All right, let's keep moving. Technically, you can just, like, sparrow through here and not worry about a single enemy because this is where the real fight begins. Right here. Hi there. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to do some damage to you, and I don't want to go spend too much time in the fire. Let's do that. There we go. Woo! Oh, she's got, like, some actual, like, bombs that she can fire. Okay, so we already got her down to almost half health. There we go. Good damage. Okay, I need to stop going through the fire. There we go. If we can get her low enough, she is eventually going to try to take off. There we go. We're doing good. Hold on. Let's see if I can do this. Just a second. Where's she going? Where's she going? Come back here. No! Oh, gosh dang it! Ah, oh, she sped away at the last second. Frickin' heck, that was exactly what I was trying to avoid. You piece of crap. Okay, hold on. Uh, actually, I can get another pike here. I was about to hop on my sparrow and go after her, but this, this works too. Let's keep going. Alright, we'll catch her. We'll catch her. Just ignore the rest of the enemies. They're not as important. We need to kill her. Let's see, it's really hard to hit this thing. Far. The travel time on these is very slow. Hold on. We got corrupted raiders. Take care of that. You can die, thank you, and give me those. And hopefully, uh, she will drop a crap ton of those visions of light because I am certainly in need of those. Oh, excuse me, go away, go away. Get out of here! Ow, frickin', that was dumb. I did it again. Keep moving, keep moving. Just need to chase her all the way back to the beginning, and that is where the final stand will be. 
And by the way, yes, you can absolutely accidentally get hurt in the boiled pea if you're on a sparrow. That was a good shot by her. Ow. Okay, hold on, hold on. We got her. Yes, we got her. Sweet. She is a goner. Awesome. That was beautiful. Give me all this. The riders racing days are over. I guess Kane's record is safe. Something like that, even though, how would she have really been able to challenge him anyway, considering he's dead now? I mean, I guess in like a time trial, she could beat his time or something. I don't freaking know, whatever. Writer's dead, and ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Destiny 2. I hope you all enjoyed it very much. In the next episode, we're going to be taking down the trickster. So, I will be meeting you guys in Sorox's Cut in the next one. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all then.